So first take a look at the image to the right and tell me what this is. How does it differ from a rim ball and why use this? So the rim ball may clue you in if you didn't already know that this is a Bonner sphere. So a Bonner sphere specifically is used to detect neutrons via these various diameters of polyethylene moderating spheres. And that ultimately is really how they work. And we're going to dive into this through the understanding that we have a lithium iodide scintillating detector surrounded by these spheres. So let's do a quick little drawing. So we just have this detector. It is going to detect a gamma ray. But that gamma ray needs to be created by these Bonner spheres. So you have this detector. It is surrounded by these polyethylene spheres. Now what these are going to do is or, or moderate the high energy neutrons to lower energies. The lithium iodide is then going to capture those neutrons making a gamma ray that is detected by that detector that is how we are going to determine what is the the energy the dose of these or i, I should say dose equivalent uh, the rate the neutron flux of the neutrons that are impending so now different spheres have different um, you know, energies. They moderate the neutrons at a different rate. And that's where this term rem ball kind of comes in because a rem ball is just a Bonner sphere that is 10 to, to 12 uh, inches. I put CM, I'm sorry, inches. So what this is important because with a 10 to 12 inch sphere, we can directly measure the dose equivalent because now they match the dose equivalent weighting factor for a neutron. So every rem ball is a Bonner sphere, but not every Bonner sphere is a rem ball. And often in the clinic, it's really nice to use a rem ball because again, you're going to get that dose equivalent. Next, uh, why use this? Well, we uh, use it for shielding. When you have your door, when you have potentially the ability for neutrons to be in the presence during the beam, you want to verify that obviously your shielding will be able to handle that. So as a very quick overview, we have a neutron. It's going to come in contact with the Bonner sphere. The neutron is going to enter and be moder uh, moderated to lower energies. The uh, lithium iodide captures the neutron and then the gamma is produced that is detected and from there you are given specifically the quantity we are measuring is neutron flux now some things about bonner spheres they have really good gamma ray discrimination they can go their range is from background all the way to grays so again great for shielding or unfortunately hopefully you never have high levels of neutron dose but if you do it will be able to detect it it also measures dose equivalent again really nice the negatives however are one look at these spheres they're very big they're large often they require expensive software and then they need calibrated now this isn't something that a community hospital is probably going to have you don't use them often it's a lot of work and that's why they're somewhat a specialty tool however when you're doing your shielding it's very important to have access to one to obviously verify your neutron dose is under the limit. So that is a brief overview of Bonner spheres. If you have any further questions, please comment below. I'll happy to help in any way I can. Happy studying.